So as you may tell by the thumbnail, we're going to be looking at this today. This is the Haven sort of tent hammock. Um, kindly sent to me by Derek over at Haven Tents. Uh, so thank you very much for this. Now he sent this after I sent an email uh, talking about the different budget uh, hammock setups that I wanted to bring to the channel. And he gladly obliged. Um, you know, great company, great personality. So thank you very much, Derek. Really, really appreciate it. Now the Haven tent is um, slightly different to what you probably know as a hammock. Uh, normally you see these sort of banana hammocks, which is what I'm accustomed to. And But this one's a flat layer one. Uh, it's got an insulated pad in the bottom and it's just completely flat. So almost like being on a bed. So it's great for sort of stomach sleepers, side sleepers, that sort of thing. And it's really super simple to set up. I've set it up a couple of times in the garden at home. Uh, but let's go through uh, the setup guide now and then we'll go through some tips and tricks that I've learned by watching more videos. As you can see, it's been really, really simple to set up. But as like there is with any hammock, there's going to be like a little bit of a learning curve. So you're going to have to yeah, give yourself time to adjust. Set it up in the garden if you can, or just take it out for a couple of little walks and stuff. Give it a good set up, do the tweaking, get used to it, get familiarise yourself with it. Now you can see how, when I first laid in the hammock, um, it sort of sunk on one end at the head end. And that's because you need your sort of centre of gravity sort of in the middle of your hips sort of over the center of the hammock uh, just to give you that optimal flat lay um, obviously you can adjust it 
um, by just shifting your body weight up and down. Now I'm five foot ten and just under a hundred kilos, um, so I've got the XL version. If I had the smaller version, I'd probably be more a, a, a kilter. And uh, Danielle's been in this one, and this one's just too big for her. The, the pad in the centre just sort of encompasses her a little bit because she's not got the weight distribution and the size to uh, to get the the mat laid flat. Um, again, you saw me then uh, wriggling about in the hammock, so I was laid on my back for a few seconds, I turned on my side, and I turned on my stomach as well. So it's brilliant for all kinds of sleepers, um, and super comfortable, and it's an insulated pad as well, so you can actually feel the warmth coming through. Now when you've, you've tucked it in the corners, you can see that there is a tendency for it to, to shuffle about and that's just with movement same as anything you know when you're camping you're always sort of tweaking uh, air mats in tents and things like that and it's the same in a hammock so I use my elbows to just sort of adjust and get that that pad more central and get it more comfortable it's not very obvious why you're in the hammock but you can tell if that makes sense uh, right so that's the hammock set up um, it's been really really simple as I say I've set up, I've got my pack up on the ridge line uh, everything's in there that obviously you'll need in the camping gets it off the ground no need for a gear sling right uh, I think it's time to get the rain fly on So again the rain fly super simple to set up just looping through the sort of strengthened parts of the uh, tarp with the carabiner and then clipping straight into either the carabiner or the webbing strap completely your choice i've gone through the carabiner just to give me that little bit of tautness the same tautness as the hammock and then just toggling it down on all four corners provides you that great uh, storm shelter great protection from the rain everything's inside the hammock with you uh, so it's thumbs up from me uh, so I'm just going to show you inside um, all the different pockets and stuff and then obviously how you shut the door. Hey, these are the pockets on the inside, so you've got one quite large one here which I've put my pump in. got one up there big enough to actually put your boots in and keep them obviously with you and then another sort of foam pocket there and you've got exactly the same on the opposite side just down there and you can see just in the back there, the camera back there's another little box at the back there. Yeah, it's super, super impressed. Lots of storage. Obviously, pack up on the ridge line. Uh, ridge line sort of organizers there for the bug net, and then just one little zip up pull that I've added on there. As you can see, we're inside the hammock now. Got that awesome flat layer going. So I've got this corner pinned down on the storm shelter flap there already. And then you've got this one here that you can attach to a little sorry about the freehand filming 
two seconds a little bit of bungee that clips on there it's a bit hard with one hand i'll show you in a second so you've got that there just clips in and then just reach out you know the toggle and then toggle that down and then obviously zip up i've been told the zip is quite tight but if you get a bit of a knack of sort of shifting your weight to one side now you can relieve a lot of pressure on there free up the tip and make it a bit easier to run up i am super impressed with this hammer right so yeah that just a roundabout sums up everything so i'm just going to get back out show you how to set this up as a bivy tent as well in case you can't find any trees strong enough uh, and then we'll wrap this video up the last thing i'd like to show is how to pitch the haven tent as a bivy just in case there are no good trees around here's the whole tent with a pad and spreader bars in place put your trekking poles in at an angle about 8 to 12 inches from the head or foot of the hammock Find the midpoint of one of your guy lines and make a loop. Clip the loop into the carabiner, then slip over the pole handle. Stake the ends of the lines down to the side, away from the hammock. Repeat with the other side. If your poles are adjustable, you can extend them to raise the ridge line and give yourself a little more room inside the tent. And that's it. Thank you for your support of our little company, Haven Tech. hammock itself is absolutely brilliant and obviously being able to get that flat lay is going to be great for those people that wanted to try hammock camping but were afraid because they couldn't get um, a side sleeping or a, a belly sleeping hammock this is the answer to that um, there's going to be a few little things that I do change about it just simple little things just for me just to personalize it for me and I'll bring them to the channel later on but as a setup it's absolutely perfect now um, I said I was going to show you as a bivy but I've been looking at the ground and the ground is just it's a no-go, it's a bog, so I'm not going to set it up as a bivy tent uh, but I will show you putting it away in a second or I may have already done that depending on how I've edited this but uh, let's talk about price of it so um, I'm on Haven's website direct which I'll sort of flash up on screen as I'm rolling around uh, so this is the XL uh, in Forest with the uh, lightweight Rainfly and in UK that, that's available for £303 now if you get that without the rain fly, uh, that drops to 234 and then you can just add your own tarp again showing you how I've done it on here you can just add little bits of carabiners in further on and just add an additional uh, tarp just going over if that's what suits you um, but I know £303 sounds like a great deal of money but you know if you break it down if you do 10 camps a year that's £30 a camp that you're going to be using it um, and it's it's phenomenal you know it's waterproof it's tape seamed on the inside rainfly connects to it if you if you've not got the money well worth saving up and getting one um, as i say there are going to be a couple of little bits that i changed just for me but as a design as an actual standard set it's brilliant uh, so if you've enjoyed this video please give the video a thumbs up comment let me know what you thought about it there will be a link to go and pick one of these up direct from haven in the description uh, and if you're not already, consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this in the middle. I'll see you in the next one.